It has been a tough year for many of us, and that is especially the case for those living with breast cancer and their families. But the access to treatment is more important than ever right now as we continue tackling this pandemic. So joining us live to talk about how you can help your neighbors and families fighting this every day is Susan G. Cohen of Oregon and Southwest Washington. This holiday season, they are here to help. Tony Mountain, former manager of the organization Survivor Program, is joining us this morning. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Emily. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So I know this is this is really a critical period for for you all here as we close out 2020 in a year of, of so many struggles. How has the how has the situation evolved for cancer patients? What kind of need are you seeing right now? Well, since the coronavirus began, the need for the Tony Mountain Treatment Access Program has doubled. So from April through September of this year, we have actually served over 203 patients. Uh, the need is greater than ever before. The problem is once you've been diagnosed with breast cancer, many patients face barriers and some of the barriers that come to mind are geography. So many, the, the treatment access program actually serves residents throughout Oregon and Southwest Washington. And so if you have geography, if you're living distances away, which are, could be anywhere from 200 miles away, like in Coquille and Coos County, these uh, women and men have to travel those distances. And if you're diagnosed with breast cancer and you have chemotherapy, chemotherapy is like every, three, every six weeks for about three or four months, but radiation is every day, uh, five days a week for, um, seven to nine weeks of radiation. The other barrier that uh, patients suffer are the um, language barriers. So if you have women who do not speak English and you do not have medical interpreters or translators, that's also difficult. But last but not least is the financial challenges. So if these patients are uh, forced with these barriers, then they have to choose between keeping lights on in their house and putting food on their table for their family, or do they miss their medical appointments and their treatments? And as a result of that, um, their death rate is higher. Yeah, I, gosh, it is hard to imagine facing that situation uh, for so many out there to, to think, I don't know if I can afford this this thing that can save my life or that can help me fight this or having to choose, as you mentioned, between putting food on the table, turning the lights on and, and being able to afford this treatment. So what are some of the ways that the treatment access program is helping sure. breast cancer patients in all of this? You bet. So the breast cancer, the Tony Mountain Breast Cancer Treatment Programs helps provide food, transportation and lodging for breast cancer patients throughout Oregon and Southwest Washington, and that's Clark, Cowlitz, and Skamania counties. Um, and, uh, and they work with 211 info. So they, uh, the patients have to, they're all underserved patients. So they fall below the 250% poverty level. Uh, they must be going through treatment at the time and they get a referral either from their physician or the social worker or nurse navigator that they're working with in their particular medical facilities. And then um, hopefully we raise the money with wonderful donors like each and every one of you through Komen and then Komen works in close connection with 211 Info who helps distribute gift cards. Gift cards meaning that will help them with gas money just to get up to travel the 200 and some miles, like I was saying earlier, from people who live in Coquille, Oregon. Yeah. So um, it's really helpful. Yeah, I know we've heard from so many patients over the years as, as we here at COIN have worked with everyone um, yes. at Susan G. Komen. And you just you hear from these patients that these, these gift cards are the difference in, in being able to continue to receive treatment. Oh. It, it means everything for their families. Uh, now, I know you have a, a goal this holiday season. You're, you're looking for $40,000 of donations yeah. to, to help mm -hmm. these yeah. patients. Um, yeah. What do you want people watching at home to know uh, about their donation this holiday season? Oh, it doesn't matter what you can donate. Every dollar counts. And what I would really like to leave um, is a quote from one of the patients who was served by this program, if I may, Emily. Oh, please do, yes. This has been such a wonderful, unforeseen gift. With all the medical bills not covered by my insurance, this has helped me tremendously. Thank you for everything you do, Coleman, and continue doing for breast cancer patients. 
And this particular patient does live in Coquille, Oregon, which is 240 miles. So round trip, that's over 500 and some miles that she comes to a medical facility here in Portland. So my heart goes out to those people that have to travel, especially during chemo when you're not feeling well. So every dollar to this fund really greatly appreciates all the patients. So we appreciate all you and we can't do it without wonderful donors like you. This program would not exist. So yeah. thank you very much oh, and happy holiday. Thank you, Tony. We appreciate your time this morning. We certainly hope that everyone out there watching, uh, if they are able to give, will do so to help other families here have something to be thankful for this holiday season. Tony, we Definitely. appreciate your time. Thanks for being here and happy holidays. You too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. And of course, to help Susan G. Komen of Oregon and Southwest Washington raise those funds this holiday season, $40,000, we can do it to help cancer survivors and patients in our community. We'll have all the information you need at coin.com.